As India-China tension rising every day, China has to fear of India's secret weapon, which will outperform the Chinese army in the border. With the Chinese PLA having inducted light tanks in the area of standoff, the armed or attacked helicopters were expected to play a significant role in the case of a conflict. In the Indian Apaches, half of them are longbow versions, come armed with AGM-114 Hellfire add-to-surface anti-tank missiles. The AM-92 Stinger add-to-air missiles and 2.75 rockets. It can carry a maximum of 16 Hellfire missiles. India presently holds more than 70 to 80 attack helicopters, and with Chinese as per the data available, it has approximately 280 attack helicopters in their inventory. But a large number of these are in the category of light reconnaissance and attack and armed versions. The Indian attack helicopters is armed with chain gun that sends 625 rounds per minute, ripping into armored vehicles and war zones. Its ability to shoot fire and forget anti-tank guided missiles, add to air missiles, rockets, and other ammunition are part of its enhanced capability. The latest version of the attack helicopters, AH-64E Apache, is versatile in conducting network-centric aerial combat due to its modern electronic warfare system. With the two high-performed turboshaft engines, it has a maximum cruise speed of 284 km per hour. Capable of carrying all weather combat operations, it does not have any restriction on night flying since it's equipped with an infrared night vision system for navigation. In the recent years, the AH-64AS Apaches was upgraded to a more modernized version of AH-64D. The other factor that adds to the strength of Apache helicopters is that they have seen timely upgrades since 1986 when they were first developed and deployed by the US. It has been equipped with color digital flight displays, modem-based data links, and new GPS and Doppler's radar navigation systems, but what makes this version deadliest is the longbow. The drum-shaped longbow and a massed air tap, the Apache rotor is used to target the radar-guided AGM-114L missiles up to 5 miles away. With the latest version AH-64E, the attack helicopters can take out targets and battle weight with precision guided missiles. The much touted state of the art Z-10 AHS capability to operate in high altitude is questionable due to its underpowered engines. It's due to this basic reason that Pakistan Army selected the Turkish T-129 attack helicopters over the Chinese Z-10. Three decades later, Apache is still the best attack helicopters available on the planet. Armored attack helicopters sees extensive demand among the countries like UK, Egypt, India and Taiwan, and remains in action in the Middle East right now. India is among the 16 countries which are operating the Apache helicopters currently. Boeing has delivered about 2,500 Apache helicopters so far globally. In July of 2020, Boeing had completed the delivery of 22 AH-64E Apache helicopters to the Indian Air Force. In 2020, India had signed another contract with the US for acquisition of six Apaches for the Indian Army during the American President Donald Trump's visit to New Delhi. As per reports, the Chinese are working on a new engine, which is yet to go into production. In the absence of the potent helicopter like the Apaches, experts suggest that India has some major weapons in its armory that can be a potential game-changer for a small-scale or limited war up in the Ladakh region. So what do you think of India's upper hand against China in the Ladakh region with its Apache latest version of attack helicopters against the light combat tanks of Chinese? India has now captured six more major places in the Ladakh region. China is opening a new front in the Arunachal Pradesh and the East Ladakh sectors. India now sending more than 12,000 troops to the LAC.
the Indian Army has acquired six new major hill features on the line of actual control of the LAC during the ongoing conflict with the Chinese Army in the eastern Ladakh sector. The Indian Army has occupied now six new heights between August 29th and the second week of September, the new hill features being occupied by the Indian troops including the Magar Hill, Gurang Hill, Raisianhen La, Raisang La, Mohapari, and the dominating heights of the Chinese positions near Finger Four, top Indian government source told to the ANI. It's very clear that both sides are planning to stay there for winter. They seem to be anticipating that there will be no diplomatic outcome, said Manoj Joshi, a security expert at the Observer Research Foundation. The reality is that China does not want to settle this because it is a convenient way to keep India unsettled and weakened by entangling them in an expensive military operations and along the Himalayan border that is far beyond their means. Said a source. According to the villagers in the Ladakh hilltops, there is little evidence of disengagement on the ground. Over the past week, the Indian troops have continued to build up along the border to further secure India's position along the border. A source clarified that the Black Top and the Himalma Top hill features are on the Chinese side of the LAC, while the heights occupied by the Indian side are in the Indian territory. As the Chinese buildup increases, there is a requirement of a corresponding increase of troops on the Indian side. It is being discussed if another division of troops should be inducted in the eastern Ladakh, said as source. This would mean the additional troops of almost 12,000 personnel being moved to eastern Ladakh for acclimations and subsequent deployment if the needs arises, according to an Indian defense source. The Indian Army is ready to respond to China's challenge and the Army is on a high alert in four sensitive areas in the LAC of Arunachal Pradesh. It is to be noted that the activities of the People's Liberation Army and the Chinese Army are now being closely monitored in those areas. According to the sources, the surveillance has been increased in six disputed areas and four sensitive areas along the LAC in Arunachal Pradesh. So what do you think of India has captured six more heights and China is opening a new front battle in Arunachal Pradesh and the eastern Ladakh sector? Why do you think India is sending more than 12,000 troops on the eastern Ladakh sectors and thinking on to add extra more troops on Arunachal Pradesh?